I've often kind of sadly joked that I would be a lot farther along in my career uh, if I didn't have such a straight moral compass. <laughs> In meetings, men somehow finding a way to accidentally grab, graze, touch my breasts. And a lot of the touching is an oops, but then it happens five times in the course of sitting down. In auditions, I walked in and was asked by the director to perform a kissing scene with him, which by the way, wasn't in the sides that I had received, um, because the actor was conveniently absent. And of course he needed to know that I could kiss. I've had, um, a man in power walk in intentionally, but accidentally, uh, in the dressing room when I had disrobed and, oh, oops, oops, so sorry, but standing there and lingering and looking at me and, you know, it's just this moment of a deer in headlights of me going, really? I was up for a pretty big part that I think could have been a good career changer for me and I highly suspect if not know with a 99% certainty that I lost the film role due to the refusing of the innuendo that was proposed to me immediately following the screen test. So that sucks. You know a lot of times these guys are really nice in the beginning so it's you feel like you've been duped. I think when you're the one in the vulnerable position you question your own actions, you question your own behavior. It's very much like you start thinking like, well, did I, did I somehow lead this person on? Did I, you know, I, I was just friendly. Maybe they were just being friendly and maybe I, maybe I misunderstood or it's like crazy making. It feels terrible. It feels dirty. It feels gross. And it's humiliating to know that you've in any way been a part of it, even though you were an unwitting party.